All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kicks, jumping high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so world of JK. trouble. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 30 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Donetsk, Ukraine, Nikita Al Capone. Clara. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 38 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Quinton Rampage Jackson. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice one, two there. Oh, big left. And they are exchanging leather early. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nice loop and punch. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 
Got Clip with the right hand. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Just missed with the straight left hand. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Good job by him. Oh. Oh. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Beautiful strike. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Connects with a right. Oh! And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh. Crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Good punch land. Wow, that right punch. Oh. Is oh. Right there, his opponent's rabbit chair. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice one, two there. He loaded up with that right hand, too. And they separate. Well, he is staying. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Quinton!